It's the most wonderful time of the year in one of the most wonderful cities, Fountain Valley. And once again, it was time for the city to host its annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony, which launched the holiday season into full swing. Tonight we do the official opening of the Christmas season for Fountain Valley. We do that by signifying that, uh, by lighting the Christmas tree here at 6 o'clock. We have Santa Claus coming in, no great expense, I'll tell you, it costs us a few bucks here to do this. And there's a lot of people here to see the show, to see the tree, to see the fireworks, to see Santa Claus. This year's ceremony provided both music and dance performances by the local schools and dance companies in addition to so much more. We've got food vendors, crafts, games, a lot of exhibitors are here, sponsors that have helped support this event through, uh, for this year. Every year, Fountain Valley hosts their tree lighting ceremony. Many of the local businesses and organizations come together to lend their support by providing great food, games, and fun activities for everyone to enjoy. I'm with the Fountain Valley Community Foundation. And we have cookies, coffee, and hot chocolate for the children, for the adults. And we're very happy that all of these wonderful people donated to us. We actually have 12 games featured tonight. We have five that were provided by the Recreation and Community Services Division, and then five that were donated by City Lights Church. So they're all holiday themed. And we do have crafts that are provided over by Beach Point Church. They're doing a bunch of fun crafts with the kids. We're also uh, writing letters to Santa Claus, and Santa Claus is actually gonna write back to all the kids. Tonight we are representing Anytime Fitness. We're here to you know, be a part of the community provide fitness as another alternative and we've always had a face painter and so that's what we have behind us is our Christmas lane and we have our face painter right next to our booth. We're very happy to be here representing and, and like Nick said uh, give back a little bit for the community some of our uh, skills that can provide a little bit of, of better quality for people who are here and interesting. But without a doubt the one thing everyone was interested in was seeing the lighting of the Christmas tree with Santa Claus. Each year, uh, the incoming mayor has the honor of lighting this tree uh, by just throwing the switch over here along with Santa. Santa wasn't able to make it here this evening because he got stuck in the grapevine with snow and a lot of trees that fell down because of, uh, the, yeah, because of the winds up there. So he wasn't able to make it here this evening. Really? That's what I've heard. Wait a minute, hang on a sec, folks. Oh, gee, wait a minute, folks. Hang on. This is a fax from Santa of North Pole, and it said he is coming and uh, that he will be here tonight. Here comes Santa Claus! Fountain Valley for having us again here this year. We always give us such a warm welcome. We just love it. And it's so great to see the wonderful, happy faces of all the children out there. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Once jolly old St. Nick arrived, it was time for him and the new mayor to flip the switch and light the tree.
afterwards, everyone was treated to a spectacular fireworks show. And yes, it even snowed in Fountain Valley. It was then time for the kids to take pictures with Santa and share with him their Christmas wishes. So why is it that events such as the tree lighting ceremony are always such a big hit for the community? I think it's a wonderful uh, event. It signifies the concern Fountain Valley has for the entire community and how much of it participates in the word community. We often talk about the fabric of our community. Well, the fabric is made up of many threads, and the fabric of the community is, depends on the number of threads and the strength of each thread. And this is one of those things that adds some strength to our fabric of our community. I mean, look around. People are smiling. They're having a good time. It's a great event for families to come out and enjoy. It's free. We've had some great businesses support us this year. And it's a great event for all generations. Oh, it's been great. Really good. Lovely. We love coming to the Fountain Valley Rec Center for Christmas. It's great. There's The whole community is here. It's a good time. Fountain Valley is a wonderful city to live in. Here in Fountain Valley, we try to make it bigger and better every year. So I feel like we try to just top it off to just try to bring in more people and make it bigger and better than ever before. And it's just been a really fun, free event for everybody to come in and support our community. Fountain Valley! The City of Fountain Valley and all of its supporters would like to thank the community for sharing in this year's Christmas tree lighting and wish everyone a happy holiday season. Merry Christmas, Fountain Valley! Good job, guys! Happy Holidays, Fountain Valley! Happy Holidays, Fountain Valley! Hello, Fountain Valley. On behalf of the Recreation Department and all of City of Fountain Valley, we wish you and your families the happiest of holidays in a glorious and fun and very recreational 2012. As Mayor of Fountain Valley, I'm delighted to wish everybody in Fountain Valley a happy holiday season and Merry Christmas and a very safe and happy 2012. God bless you all.